here's a great tech tip on how to start the Rotax 912. Today we have a Corby Air Alto 100. It's ice cold on our Dynon Avionics. You can see that our CHT is 81, 82 degrees. Our oil temperature is 83 degrees. We don't have any oil pressure. So I'm gonna go through the procedure how to start it. This thing is ice cold, hasn't started in about a week. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get, uh, we're gonna bring our fuel pressure up with our auxiliary fuel pump. We're gonna get it up, make sure we have the fuel on. Here comes our fuel pressure. Now, when we choke the aircraft, we're gonna choke it and we make sure that the throttle is completely closed. The whole time that I'm choking this, I wanna make sure the throttle's closed, otherwise I'm bypassing the choke circuit, I'm not doing anything. So if you pull the choke and open the throttle, you're bypassing the choke, you're not doing anything, and you're gonna sit there and crank and crank and crank and not start your engine. So we're gonna have the throttle closed, the choke on, we're gonna fire the engine up, and this is how you start a Rotax 912. Clear prop. Hey, I'm gonna release the choke. Now I'm gonna open my throttle up just a little bit. Clear. Okay, let's say we had our throttle closed, we had our choke on, we cranked the engine, it was stumbling, 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 now it's not, now it's not starting. Well, chances are now you flooded it just a little bit, but don't worry, it's okay. What I would do is I would release the choke, and then I would open up the throttle about a half inch to three quarters of an inch. That's going to get some air into the combustion chamber, get that fuel that's already in there, and get it to go. Uh, if it doesn't go within you know, about five or six seconds, chances are you may have fouled a plug, so you got to be careful to know what you're looking for. Okay, having said that, with the choke start, I'm going to show you how to do the hot start. Now, we only had this running for just a couple of minutes, uh, actually just a couple of seconds, so we're still, we're still pretty cold, but it's going to be the same thing as the hot start. We're not going to have the choke on, and we're going to open the throttle about a half inch to three quarters of an inch. We don't need to choke the aircraft engine anymore. It's already got fuel in there. It's good to go. So I'm going to open up the throttle a little bit, clear prop. There you have it. This is the Rotax 912. It's installed on a Corby Air Alto 100. And you saw the temperatures, cold start, hot start. If your engine doesn't start like that, uh, chances are, you know, you need to bring it to a shop like Tommy Aircraft. We can go through the carburetors, we can go through the, the plugs, we can check everything, but this is exactly how the 912 should start each and every time, whether it's cold, hot, cold climate, warm climate, this is how it needs to start.